Good morning. My Abbey are back. Here's the plan. Kind of carrying on with things that are going on already. There will be more work on the frame of the greenhouse. In fact, I thought the frame was done. And it may be that the structure is done, but there's more painting to do. More with drainage at the back of the house at the moment. I'm not sure if it'll extend anywhere else. More with ceilings, adding additional PVC panels in certain areas and working to complete the kitchen ceiling frame. Not sure beyond that. We'll see what could possibly go wrong. At the greenhouse, we've got Erwin and Oliver uh, adding more painting, and it looks like still some more welding going on. <laughs> That's how you pass a welding gun. So, yeah, it looks like they're going to redo all of the frame with another coat of paint. And uh, up on the ridge, there's still some finalizing of the frame up there. Brother in law, Koi Dong. He's out cleaning the floor of the pool. He's been doing this for, oh, at least two hours. You can never sit still. Singing, Marvin. Putting in another, I think they're catch basins. I'm sure somebody will tell me whether I've got that right or wrong. So that's the second one across the back of the gym and spa. I don't know how many there'll be in total. I'm guessing at least three. And just here, Dizzy Pill Poppers. Got our plumber, aided by Carlito. Still adding more PPR pipe, as well as the drainage pipe they put in earlier on. Now, from this angle, let's see if we can get a slightly better look at this hot welding of the joints between pipes. I'm not sure we can, but I'm just going to apply a junction on here. So, both ends fitted over this tool. Heat is applied. Be patient. Be a bit more patient. I mentioned, be patient. Almost there. I think that's it. Oh, not quite. There we go. So they pull it off, and inside the junction, it's effectively just expanded the diameter very, very slightly and added heat so that when they put these two together, they kind of weld together. Junction done. Bapa Jess, our electrician, just doing some testing of the wires here in the kitchen. Why not guys? Why not you serve them best? And wiring grounding? Oh, I have no ground. Because I high, high rating for a uh, high rating efficiency for a uh, perimeter lighting and testing. Okay. Elsewhere, disappearing Richard has just disappeared. Light and pin light. Both 
Once Dapper Jeff starts, you can't stop him. Uh, so this section, I think, may be finished, although I can't remember whether they're going to... No, they'll trim off, I think, the ends of these struts across here. And something I missed completely yesterday, take another dizzy pill. The ceiling in the pantry. Almost complete. So we've got O'Donnell and Original Rico working on this one. And hiding around the corner, the big boss. We have a new painter, Mr. William, who's not actually painting right now. He is applying what I've seen elsewhere called the mud and tape approach. And I'll show you a little bit later on. In fact, I'll show you now what the tape part looks like. The other name I've seen given here is just edging tape. Now this is white on a white background, so let's move it over there. So against his shirt, you can maybe make out, it's just uh, like a ribbon. And I'll check on the mix for the mud part in a little while. He that is now known as Singing Rico, not singing right now, just putting into place the last part of the PVC panel for this bedroom that they were working on yesterday. So once this section is in, it doesn't look quite right to me, there's a bit of a gap, but we'll see what they do later. Uh, once this is in, I think, as far as that PVC panel is concerned, this room is done. And hide around the corner, we have Jonas, who's taken up singing Marvin's mantle of saying, I'll back my app every morning. Just trying to confuse me. I talked briefly a day or so ago about water filtration and the fact that uh, we want to put in a fairly heavy duty filtration system here. Having checked our contract and having talked to the builder this morning, his filtration system was very, very basic. Uh, and so it's going to be down to us to pay for that. So just something if you're coming after us and you're negotiating your contract with your builder, consider whether or not to ask him to include a water filtration system. Uh, you can always choose not to, as long as you're then aware that depending on what you want to do with water filtration, you've got an additional cost still to come. Now, I know roughly what uh, somebody else has paid for the system that we're looking for. I don't know whether that price is still going to apply to us because it is two years or so later once we've got a contract for it, if we can get a contract for it, then I will let you know what that system is going to cost us uh, and a little bit more about the system itself, although I would still say you're not going to get a better summary that, than you're going to get from Kazatex Pina. So once again, if you want to have a look at their system, search for Kazatex Pina Water Filtration. He's got an episode where he goes through in quite detail uh, the system that they put in place that we would like to copy. We're back in the carport with the precasts that Mr. Rene and a moment ago Elson were working on. Uh, so they've taken those original kind of concrete rectangles, uh, added rebar down the center and now are doing the same thing, doubling the height effectively. I did ask the builder this morning to give us uh, an updated rendering of the outside of the house just because I'm a bit concerned that there can be a tendency here to get a little bit overly fussy, overly complicated with appearances and I don't want it to be too fussy. We don't want it to be too fussy. Some highlights, some kind of uh, changes in, in textures that's fine, but hopefully not too much. So we've asked for that 
updated rendering just so we know what we think we're going to be roughly ending up with. It's just after lunch. If you had an unbelievably late lunch, it's 4.30. Sorry, things just got away from me again today. Too many other bits and pieces of life got in the way of coming back around at a more normal time. So this is going to be another relatively short video. Here at the White House, they continued to paint and weld all day. There were still bits and pieces going on throughout the day, two of them uh, just kept going at it. And it's still, I think, looks like areas of it still need another coat of paint. They're not done yet, but we are getting closer. At the pool, or as a couple of you have now christened it, the lake. Uh, nobody's here, remarkably. Maybe they'll come a bit later on. Five more days for me, but I can't go in. I've got to stop beating myself up about this. Work on drainage and catch basins has continued here at the back of the house. So we now have a total, all the, if you look all the way across, there are now five of these catch basins, if that is in fact the right term for them. Uh, with downspouts either going directly into them or being piped into them. Now, something slightly lacking. We still don't have the top of the downspouts connected, but that's coming. In the main kitchen, uh, they did continue working in here. Uh, there are now signs of LED strip lights being prepared, but the other thing they've done is to add another little area of wooden frame around the outside of this lower part of the ceiling. So this morning I said I thought they might be going to cut off the end of these metal struts. But no, they've extended the ceiling part out to meet the end. We also now, it's not here, but we have finally got a sink to go in here. The builder has managed to find uh, a sink that we like, which is an undermount sink that will go in this kitchen. Uh, we have already bought the sink for the dirty kitchen, which is not an undermount, uh, but it, we couldn't find any kind of three section sinks which were undermounted. Uh, and you'll see if you're not familiar with that you'll see what that looks like once it's all installed. Back in the bedroom at the front of the house, the bedroom with a small balcony, they have finished, I think, this section of PVC panel. And it does look nice. I do think there might be a bit more touch-up to do because in a couple of areas, I'm not sure if this is going to come out clearly, Try this one, for example. I'm not sure that the finishing there is quite right. It looks like there might be tiny gaps between those diagonal areas and the panel above. I don't know. We'll talk to the foreman and engineer tomorrow about that. But I think the overall effect is very nice. I think it will look good. Having completed that bedroom with the PVC panels, they've moved to the bedroom that's opposite it, so the back of the house, the one with the balcony overlooking the pool. And they've got more than two thirds of the panel put in in this bedroom. The precast beams, I guess, having been doubled in size, are now sitting here drying out. The home theatre room is a bit of a puzzle for us. We still don't have a plan as to how we will frame out this room uh, to allow it to be a home theatre. Uh, I've just not spent the time looking online, as uh, one or two people have suggested, at uh, how exactly to do that, and the builder has no, not so far come up with a plan either. We are going to have to pay it some attention pretty soon. I do think it's going to be quite some time before I ever put some equipment in here. 
Um, money is running tight, so we're going to have to be a bit patient, but I would like to at least have the room framed and ready. We'll finish up here. Two or three things to finish with. That noise you can hear in the background, apologies for that. There is a massive amount of road building going on all around this area, or road resurfacing rather. And that noise has just been going on and on and on and on as they're dealing with a section that's quite close to us. Second, once again, thank you to everybody for comments. The comments that we've had about ads in general, well, actually, almost completely say, yeah, they're fine. You know, nobody likes them, but you're kind enough to say that you'll just live with them. If, on the subject of comments, you are looking at this and you are thinking, I'm going to put in one of those comments that is, I'm not sure, usually in Spanish, occasionally in English, and it's linking to pornography or something. Don't waste your time. I'm only going to delete it and report it. Don't keep putting them in. That seems to be becoming a bit more frequent. I may be a building dummy, but I'm not entirely stupid. So I'm not going to be clicking on any link that you stick in those comments. And big day tomorrow, huge, massive day tomorrow. I will be revealing the prizes for both the roof build completion and the swimming pool completion date competition winners. Oh my goodness, do not miss it. See you then.